Every country that wants to protect its airspace must have the newest and the best fighter jets in its arsenal. Currently, the fifth-generation fighter airplanes with their latest weapons, powerful engines and stealth capabilities are the most advanced. But many countries already started developing sixth-generation fighter jets, while fourth-generation fighters remain the backbone of a majority of air forces around the world. Fourth-generation fighters can be upgraded with new technology to make them an effective fighting force on the modern battlefield. Such aircraft are often referred to as 4-plus or 4-plus-plus generation fighter jets. Without those fighter jets, your airspace open to foreign fighter jets and helicopters. For that matter here are some of the most dangerous but above all the most advanced fighter jets in the world. But before we jump into number 1, be sure that you have subscribed and hit the bell icon to keep yourself informed with amazing videos. With that said let's jump into our incredible list. Number 10. Mikoyan MiG-35. With the improvements on MiG-29MM2 and MiG-29K Cub fighters, MiG-35 was described as the deadliest fourth-generation Russian fighter jet. The first version was a modification to the previously used MiG-29M2 concept jet fighter. During the 2007 Aero India Air Show, Mikoyan officially displayed the first MiG-35 internationally. In terms of combat efficiency improvement, universality, and operating characteristics of the MiG-35 MiG-35D, combines developments of MiG-29K Cub and MiG-29MM2 planes. MiG-35's new design includes the fifth-generation intelligence surveillance systems, compatible with Russian and foreign weaponry applications, and an interconnected range of defensive control systems to enhance combat sustainability. The new total design overruns the baseline design concepts. This allows the new aircraft, just like their Western counterparts, to undertake massive scale multi role mission. Number 9. McDonnell Douglas F 15 Eagle. The F 15 Eagle is a purpose built air superiority fighter designed to penetrate enemy defense. Although now in service for over 30 years, it remains a formidable warplane. This aircraft scored more than 100 air kills and is considered among the most successful Cold War era fighters. The F-15 is equipped with weaponry and electronics, enabling it to detect, acquire, track and attack enemy aircraft while operating in enemy-controlled airspace. This fighter carries a wide range of air-to-air -air missiles and is extremely maneuverable. Also it has strong high-speed maneuverability. Through modifications and upgrades the F-15 has been constantly improved. The F-15 Eagle is still in service with the US Air Force and is expected to remain operational at least until 2025. This aircraft has been exported to Israel, Japan and Saudi Arabia. Number 8. Sukhoi Su-35. The Su-35 multi-role fighter is a significantly developed version of the Su-27. It is being offered for export as a replacement for the Su-27 and MiG-29 fighters. In 2012 it has been adopted by the Russian Air Force. Developers refer the Su-35 as 4++ generation fighter. It is a very fast and highly maneuverable fighter with very long range, high altitude capability and heavy armament. It poses a great threat to Western 4++ generation fighters. The Su-35 is primarily an air superiority fighter. However it has secondary air-to-ground capability. This aircraft can carry enormous amount of weapons. It has 12 wing and fuselage hardpoints and can carry ordnance with a maximum weight of up to 8,000 kilograms. Its large and powerful engines give it the ability to super cruise for a long time. Also its engines allow to reach supersonic speeds without using an afterburner. Engines have a three-dimensional thrust vectoring and make this aircraft very maneuverable. However Russia still lags behind in the development, acquisition, and employment of some of the latest technologies. Number 7. Dassault Rafale. Described as an omnirole fighter by its manufacturer, Rafale is a twin-engine, multi-role fighter aircraft that is capable of performing air sovereignty, deep strike, reconnaissance and airborne nuclear deterrent duties. 
The multi-role fighter is operated by the French Air Force and Navy. This aircraft features the latest avionics and smart sensor systems. It can carry a 30mm cannon, air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, nuclear and anti-ship missiles, as well as a range of laser-guided bombs and ground attack munitions. The maiden combat deployment of the Rafale fighter was in 2002 during the Operation Enduring Freedom. The aircraft has been used in a number of combat missions in Afghanistan, Libya and Mali. The aircraft is available in three variants, namely Rafale C single seat, Rafale M carrier based single seat and Rafale B twin seat version. Number 6. Eurofighter Typhoon. In 1986 the Eurofighter consortium was formed by Germany, Italy, the UK and later Spain, to develop a new multi-role combat aircraft, optimized as a beyond visual range interceptor, with a secondary ground attack capability. This aircraft carries advanced European-designed missiles. It is fitted with a very modern and comprehensive avionics package. It is claimed that Typhoon is half as combat-effective as the American F-22 Raptor. It is an approximate estimate, however it seems that Typhoon is superior to the F-15 French Rafale, evolved Russian Su-27 variants and many other aircraft. The Eurofighter Typhoon will form the cornerstone of European air power until well into the 21st century. Eurofighter Typhoon made its combat debut in 2011 for reconnaissance and ground strike missions in Libya by the Royal Air Force and the Italian Air Force. Number 5. Boeing F-A-18 EF Super Hornet. Currently the Super Hornet is the most capable US Navy's multi-role fighter. It is based on the aircraft carriers that can attack both air and surface targets. The Super Hornet is also in service with Australia as the main fighter aircraft. The FA-18EF is a larger and more capable derivative of the FA-18CD Hornet. The Super Hornet is fitted with new engines. It has additional hardpoints and can carry more missiles. This aircraft has extended range due to larger internal storage of fuel. The Super Hornet also has improved avionics. Some measures were taken to reduce radar cross-section of this aircraft. Combat capabilities of the fighter jet were proved during Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Southern Watch, and in a war in Afghanistan. The Super Hornet suite of integrated and networked systems provides enhanced interoperability and total force support for the combatant commander and for troops on the ground. The 11 weapon stations on the aircraft can hold a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground ordnance, as well as a variety of smart weapons, including laser-guided bombs. Number 4. Chengdu J-20. The Chengdu J-20 is the new China's stealth fighter. It was designed to compete against fifth-generation fighters, such as the US F-22 Raptor and advanced fourth-generation fighters, such as the Russian Su-57. It is speculated that development of the J-20 was assisted by the Russian MiG Aviation Company. Low-rate initial production of this stealthy aircraft commenced in 2015. First operational J-20 stealthy fighters were delivered to Chinese Air Force in 2016. This stealthy fighter was officially adopted by China's Air Force in 2017. During the last decade China has taken a more transparent approach to its military programs. Still though there is little official information on this plane. The new J-20 is a medium and long-range air superiority fighter, which might also have a secondary ground attack capability. The new Chinese warplane is an advanced fourth-generation fighter, rather than a true fifth-generation fighter. This Chinese fighter has two large internal weapon bays for long-range air-to-air missiles and two small side-mounted weapon bays for short-range air-to-air missiles. Missiles are stored in these weapon bays in order to reduce the radar cross-section. It also has large fuel tanks for long-range missions. It carries more fuel and weapons than the American F-22 Raptor. Furthermore this aircraft is capable of high-speed operations.
Number 3. Sukhoi Su-57. The Su-57 is a new Russian fighter aircraft that started life of the future frontline aircraft system. In 2017 this aircraft received a regular Su designation. This new stealthy aircraft was designed intended to replace aging MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters. It can be seen as a Russian answer to the US F-22 Raptor. Development of this aircraft commenced in 2001. A prototype was revealed and made its first flight in 2010. It was planned that in 2018 a first batch of 12 pre-production fighters will be delivered to the Russian Air Force. In fact in 2018 a couple of pre-production Su-57 fighters were deployed in Syria. Full-scale production was planned to begin in 2019. Russian Air Force has a requirement for up to 150 to 200 of these new multi-role fighters. Originally it was thought that the Su-57 is a stealthy air superiority fighter. However it turned out that this aircraft has a secondary ground attack capability and can engage surface targets. Despite being referred as a fifth-generation fighter, there are some serious doubts about it, as some US military officials referred the Sukhoi Pak FA only as advanced fourth-generation fighter. Russia still lags behind in the development, acquisition, and employment of some of the latest technologies. Though the Sukhoi Su-57 definitely has reduced radar cross-section and a number of other improvements over the current Su-35 multi-role fighter. Two large internal weapon bays are mounted in tandem between the engines. This fighter has 10 internal and 6 external hardpoints for various air-to-air, -air, air-to-surface, anti-radiation missiles, and even guided bombs. There are also two side bays for short-range air-to-air missiles. It is believed that this aircraft will carry up to 7,500 kilograms of ordnance. Number 2. Lockheed Martin F-35. The F-35, also known as the Lightning II is a new multi-role fighter. One of its variants, the F-35B achieved initial operational capability with the US Marine Corps in 2015. The F-35 was developed under a Joint Strike Fighter program, which was intended to replace existing aircraft types with a common fighter. In the near future the F-35 will replace the AV-8B, A-10, F-16 and F-A-18 warplanes in service with the US military. Also it is being exported to a number of countries. The F-35 has a configuration similar to that of Lockheed Martin's own F-22 design, however it is slightly smaller and has one engine instead of two. It exploits stealth technology, which reduces its radar cross-section and makes it harder to detect. This multi-role fighter can perform on air defense missions, close air support and tactical bombing. It is compatible with the latest air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. This aircraft is proposed in three main variants, including the F-35A conventional takeoff and landing aircraft, F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft, and F-35C carrier-based aircraft. These variants share a number of their parts in order to keep development, production and servicing costs low. This aircraft uses the most powerful fighter engine ever developed. An Israeli version of the F-35, the F-35I, was used against targets in Syria, these stealthy fighters attacked targets that were close to Russia's military bases in Syria. Russia's most capable air defense systems, including the S-300 and S-400 could not destroy any of the Israeli F-35s. Number 1. Lockheed Martin Boeing F-22 Raptor. The F-22 Raptor air superiority fighter is almost invisible to radars. This aircraft carries a powerful array of weaponry. It is the most advanced and most expensive production fighter aircraft to date. Many of sensors and avionics of this plane remain classified. This advanced aircraft was adopted in 2003. Currently it is the best fighter aircraft ever built. Engines of the Raptor allow the aircraft to supercruise over long ranges, while thrust vectoring nozzles, combined with a triplex fly-by-wire flight control system, make it exceptionally maneuverable. The F-22 cannot be exported under US federal law to protect its stealth technology and other high-tech features. 
That's why it was never offered for export customers, even other allies and NATO countries. Lockheed designed it to be highly difficult to detect and track by radar. Airframe shaping such as edges alignment, fixed geometry, serpentine bends, and angled vans that avoid the line of sight of motor faces. With turbines from any outside view are all measures to reduce radar cross-sections and the use of radar-absorbent material. Users can also add features such as hinges and fighter pilot helmets that can provide a radar return. The F-22 also has reduced radio emissions, infrared signatures, acoustic indications, and extremely low naked eye visibility. Flat thrust vectoring nozzles minimize infrared exhaust emissions to reduce the risk of surface-to-air and air-to-air -air missiles that use infrared homing, heat search. Requirement for a new fighter was issued in the early 1980s, which would replace the F-15 Eagle. United States designed this aircraft in order to restore a technological edge which the US had enjoyed for many years over Russians and other Western countries. It was somewhat eroded in the mid-1980s when Russians introduced a very capable Su-27 air superiority fighter, which could meet the F-15 Eagle on equal terms and MiG-29 multi-role fighter. The F-22 started life as a straightforward air superiority fighter. However since its introduction this aircraft lacks a formidable air threat from other countries' fighters. Later it evolved towards the multi-role fighter, as ground attack capability was added.